Hi, thank you for coming. My name is Rigo Baum, and I'm the product marketing engineer for AI at ST Microelectronics. I'm going to be today introducing uh, one of our demonstrations. In that case, we're showing the ability to have your machine learning solution running efficiently and with a high power, always on solution. So in that case, what we're presenting is the result of the work through NVIDIA, Tao Toolkit, uh, and STM32 QBI development environment, all the way, all, all thanks to Seed, the partner that actually put this demo together. So in this demonstration, we have here the H7, the microcontroller that's going to be running this small camera and the display on top of it. This is where we're going to be detecting if someone is present within the range of interest. Uh, that's not going to be counting people, not going to be detecting faces, not going to be doing anything fancy. It's really just trying to do the bare minimum at the most efficient point to then wake up the Orin from NVIDIA and be able to detect, uh, have the Orin actually do the heavy lifting of the work. So be able to use the high definition camera, be able to detect faces, be able to detect person, uh, have it actually do the job. If you wanted to detect behavior as well, you can do that. Mm -hmm. If I hide myself from the H7 without hiding myself from the, um, from the Orin, the Orin is turned off by the H7. This is really where you get that balance between performance of the Orin as well as the efficiency of a microcontroller for when nothing is happening, which is sadly, for most use case, 90% of the time. QBI is going to be ingesting the model and then porting it to your target STM32. And we take into account that target hardware. We take into account what kind of memory you have available, what kind of RAM. We take into account how we can translate the operation as efficiently as possible and translate the layers of your model as efficiently as possible to make a solution that will actually run uh, for production, not just a, a, a demo like this. So now you're able to deploy on the edge with on your STM32. Uh, initially, we had a model that was performing well, but the footprint memory was about two and a half meg. That's just not something we would want to deploy on a microcontroller. That's not where the benefits are. That's not how we make best use of it. Running at 1.3 FPS, that's also not useful, actually. That's just too slow. We will miss things. Through the use of NVIDIA Tau Toolkit and SM32 QBI, we have 250K of uh, flash, 9 FPS, an actual solution that can go into production. And if you want more information, feel free to visit us on stm32ai.st.com. And we're also hosting all this uh, in a Jupyter Notebook on the Model Zoo. Thank you.